Magnesium is a fairly abundant, very light metal that's essential to both animals and for plant life. And covering some of the basics, magnesium has an atomic number of 12. It's highly reactive, especially when it's cut into thin strips where it's very easy to ignite. It's actually quite a strong metal when you consider actually how light it is in reality. Most of the world's magnesium currently comes from China. This isn't due to any shortage of the raw materials around the world. Instead, it's directly related to the amount of energy needed in what's known as the pigeon process. Basically, silicon and magnesium oxide are heated together. The oxygen swaps, produces silicon oxide and magnesium. Now, inside the human body, magnesium is used in almost every primary function from building proteins, to making blood vessels, nerves, muscles, all functioning correctly, along with the creation of DNA and transporting chemical ions across the cell membranes. Now, thankfully, magnesium is available in many forms in the diet. Anything from nuts, beans, potatoes, bread, rice, spinach, all provide rich sources of magnesium. They're also being present in a great many other foods as well. Because magnesium is constantly used in so many different processes in the body. Generally, the larger you are, the more magnesium you require. So adults require a far greater amount of magnesium in their diet than do young children. However, because magnesium is common in such a wide variety of foods, magnesium deficiency is unlikely just as a result of poor diet. Instead, conditions such as type 2 diabetes and problems related to the small intestine or being an alcoholic could restrict the amount of magnesium being absorbed and then cause problems such as heart disease, um, osteoporosis and migraines. It's also difficult for the body to get too much magnesium as the body will normally just urinate out any excess. However, it isn't just animals that need magnesium, plants also require it to function. The chlorophyll that plants use for photosynthesis contains magnesium ions and without enough magnesium the leaves of plants will turn yellow. Magnesium is needed in relatively high concentrations in the soil for the plants to function properly. Thankfully, because of magnesium's general abundance, this isn't normally an issue. But in light, sandy soils or acidic soils, some of the magnesium can just get washed away. Now, when a plant is suffering from a lack of magnesium, normally try to rectify the situation by taking magnesium from older, less productive leaves recycling it into the newer leaves, resulting in the yellowing of these older leaves. The result of this decline in productivity, any fruits or other products normally harvested from the plant are also likely to be smaller as a result. However, the soil can easily be uh, improved with things like uh, magnesium sulfate, which is commonly called Epsom salts, or other similar chemicals which can add to the percentage of magnesium in the soil. Now, Magnesium oxide and magnesium hydroxide can also be used in the treatment of waste water, offering a relatively safe method of altering the pH of water, and also a method of settling out the sludge, removing heavy metals in the process. So, whether magnesium is being extracted from brine in, or seawater, or even being burnt by school children in chemistry labs, it has a much more fundamental role in the living processes of our planet.